द टाइनी टीचर नेम द स्मॉलेस्ट इंसेक्ट यू हैव सीन इन द वाइजेस्ट इज इट द फ्लाई नो इट इज एंट इज इट द मॉस्किटो नो नोट द मॉस्किटो देन इट मस्ट बी द वॉम नो नन ऑफ दीज इट इज द आंट द कॉमनेस्ट द स्मॉलेस्ट बट द वाइजेस्ट इंसेक्ट द स्टोरी ऑफ एन आंट्स लाइफ साउंड ऑलमोस्ट अन ट्रू बट पीपल हैव कैप्ट आंट्स एज पैट्स एंड हैव वॉच देयर daily behavior closely so we know a number of facts about this tiny hard working and intelligent creature an ant uses its feelers or antenna to talk to other ants by passing messages through them watch a row of ants moving up or down the wall each ant greets all the others coming from the opposite direction by touching their feelers there are many kinds of ants the commonest among them are the black or red ones we have seen them since we are we were children but haven't paid enough attention to them where do they live in their comfortable homes called nests or ant hills each has hundreds of little rooms and passages in some of these rooms the queen ant lays eggs others are nurseries for the young ones called grubs workers have their reserved quarters they spend most of their time searching for food Some rooms serve as storehouses for this food. Soldiers have separate barracks. No worker has ever tried to live in soldier's house. No soldier has ever gone out searching for food. No worker or soldier or cleaner has ever harmed a grub. So you see an ant's life is very peaceful. Each does its share of work intelligently and bravely and never fights with other members of the group. The queen is the mother of the entire population of the colony. It lives for about 15 years. It has a pair of wings but bites them off after its wedding flight. This flight takes place on a hot summer day. The queen leaves the nest and goes out to meet and meet a male ant or drone high up in the air. On its return to earth it gets rid of its wings and then does nothing but lay eggs. Eggs hatch and grubs come out. Soldiers guard them. Workers feed and clean them, and also carry them about daily for airing, exercise, and sunshine. Two or three weeks later, grubs become cocoons and lie without food or activity for three weeks more. Then the cocoons break and perfect ants appear. Now it's time for teaching and training. new ants learn their duties from old ants as workers soldiers builders cleaners etc after a few weeks training the small ants are ready to go out into the big world of work an ant hill is a home not only for ants but also for some other creatures beetles lesser breeds of ants and the green fly why do ants want these alien creatures to live in their nest for several reasons some give off smell pleasant to other on senses others give sweet juices and some are just pets or playthings like cats and dogs to human beings the green fly in the ants cow the ants train it to give honeydew like milk with a touch of their antenna they milk it just as we milk the cow have humans learned as much as ants have perhaps they have but they haven't put their learnings to good use they may still learn a few things from this tiny teacher hard work sense of duty and discipline cleanliness care for the young ones and above all a firm loyalty to the land where they live